guys, Cindy out of here, the Mart St. Devers. Look, the sun's out. Yay! <laughs> Only for a minute, then it'll move. Um, here we are. Guess what time it is for my year, 2017. It's time for a book review. Now, this book, um, like I told you guys in the past, I'm actually going to move this. Um, I always, well, I used to always get my books from Half.com because I got them cheaper. Um, I got them cheaper. That's why. All right. Now, sometimes when you get books, when you used to, when I say I used to, Half.com is no longer in business. Um, so now I'm going to have to start and find other ways to get my books because, you know, I love these books. I love art journal books and um, I draw so much inspiration from them that I probably will never stop buying them because I use them. And that's that's what I love about them. Now, when I talked about buying from Half.com, this book was used. OK, none of this is my writing. OK, now all throughout this book, there are you know check marks and things are underlined and notes are written okay I don't care that's that doesn't mean anything to me so this book is called art journal kickstarter pages and prompts to energize your art journals and it is edited by Christy Conlin C-O-N-L-I-N now what this is um, let's see normally it's $22.99 in the US and it is copyrighted. Let's see when it's copyrighted. Um, doesn't have a date on it. All right, I don't know when it's copyright. Um, but what it is is you have all of these different artists. Um, there's a list of them. All of these artists have different um, examples of their work. And then they have some questions. Like, for example, this is Nancy Bell. What was your inspiration for The Accidental Cat? She talks about it. How did you come up with the title? Do you have an art journaling process? What tips would you give fellow art journalists? Now, I've read this entire book. Okay, I've read all of the artists' um, comments. The biggest thing I hear time and time and time and time and time again is just do it. Play. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Your art journal is the place for you to play. It does not have to be perfect. It does not have to look like a masterpiece by the time you're done. It's a place to try out things, see if they work and see if they don't. I'm not going to show you the entire book, but I'm just going to give you a few different pages um, and just show you. Like I said, this book is huge when it comes to inspiration. That is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Um, there's just so much inspiration in this in this book. It's crazy. Now, what I did is I actually picked one. <laughs> Look at him. He's cool. <laughs> I like him. He's cool. Um, it's so funny because some of these draw to me and others not so much. Like, for example, this one, it doesn't draw to me. It might, it might be in inspirational for you. It's not for me. Um, something like these. I'm not slamming this artist in any way, shape, or form, but ladies are a dime a dozen. You can draw a lady anywhere, right? I love this. These are cool because I'm noticing the first thing I notice right off the bat is they're using a three ring binder. Actually, it's four rings. So they're doing individual pieces and making them into spreads, which I thought that was kind of cool. So I like this idea. Uh, let me show you what else I got out of here. Um, okay, this I thought was pretty neat. It's interesting. It just kind of gives you the... That might be a face. Here's the eyes, the bridge of the nose, and the lips. This might be a neck. But then again, when you look at it overall, it's like, hmm, it's just a circle of stuffs. So every little piece, I get some type of inspiration out of it. This one, I like the background. I like, it looks like they did just um, dark torn pages on the background. The composition on the top is just not me, but that's okay. So what I did, and you guys are going to think this is crazy. This is the one that it just caught my eye. All right. I, I really like this. Now, 
when I say I take inspiration from this, what I did, and, and I don't even know how the two relate, okay, but I went to my um, scrap box and I started pulling stuff out that I want to use in a journal spread and it was all based on this. So how and why this connects, I don't know. But I've got this kid, um, gentleman, man, whatever. He came out of a magazine. All right, so I'm going to use him. I found this is a piece of artwork from someone else. I just want the boots. Okay. I found um, this piece of art from someone else. It was cut out of a magazine. All right, I'm going to use some of that or some ideas off that. And then I found this. And this is just half of the globe. It's got North America, United States, Brazil, which is South America, um, and the oceans in West Antarctic, Antarctica down there. So these are the four things that I pulled out of my stash that I don't know why, but I got the inspiration from this picture. So what we're going to do today, first thing I'm going to do is write down what this is. So this is our November book review. And it is Art Journal Kickstarter. All right. This is going to go in my my year, which goes right here. So that's for November. All right. Now, oops, I need this again. What what I, I was going to do that in the journal page, and I thought no. Now I'm going to do it in here. So. This is this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna bring in these elements to this page after having inspiration from that page in the book. Now, how we're gonna do this, I don't know, but we'll figure it out, right? So, what I am going to do is I am going to fast forward through the process, and um, I hope you guys enjoy this and. I am playing. I am not, I'm sorry, the sun will go away in a couple minutes. Um, I am not expecting a beautiful um, masterpiece of work when I get done. I am just going to play. Um, I may try out a couple techniques. I may mess around with a new stencil. Um, whoops. I may tear washi tape apart. Um, but I'm just going to play. And that's what this whole art journey is about, is playing. So let me get my stuff together and I'll be back.
Okay, guys, so here we go. <laughs> we have a book review where I took inspiration. I'll see if I can find the page again. And like I said, I don't know why, but this inspired me to get out some stuff and to create. And that is this page right here. Okay, my page looks absolutely nothing like it, but I enjoyed it and I had fun and I got my inspiration from this book. So, yeah, you can check out any book that's got some type of art, other artist's work in it and just look, flip through it and it's going to inspire you um, to create art. So here we go. This is my page. Um, I did not end up using this piece of um, material, so I'm just going to put that back in my drawer. No big deal. Um, I didn't end up using the boots. I wanted to, but they just, I don't know, they just didn't work right on this page. So they're on my desk here somewhere. I don't know where. Um, I lose things when I create because stuff just gets all over the place. But so, And I used some flowers that I had received in a Happy Mail a long time ago or a swap, one or the other. And I just had fun with it. So here you go. Just to show you what I did. And, and I love it. I'm very happy with it. I think it's fantastic. So yeah, we're done. All right, so um, definitely I'd love to see what you guys think about this book. If you do have it or if you purchase it, definitely let me know. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching me play in my process. And always have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!